Yes, it's Bang Bang Rail. Um, about two years before I got my IPP, um, I was on coke. I wasn't really on the crack, but I was on coke. I was living in Twickenham, uh, in sorry, Kingston. I wasn't um, with Danny. Danny had gone in the mum and dad's house, and so I was brought single by myself. And I got a phone call from, from my mate. He went, come, well, she's doing me a favour, mate. Uh, I said, what's up? He said, well, my daughter. Uh, she's having problems with her, with her fucking, with her, with her uh, geezer. And, you know, it's got to be sorted. I said, what's up? Come. I, and I drove over there to see him. And what, he's been bashing her up, yeah. He's been bashing her up with my mate's daughter. And no one wants to get involved in all that crap, you know, because, you know, it's, you know, women are like, they, they go back to them in seconds, you know. So I said, look, we've got to have a talk to her, yeah. So drove around there. And uh, she's ca called us in. And you can see, she, he's he's giving her a clump here and there. She's got a few bruises on her face here. Yeah? And she's got some bruises on her arm. He must be grabbing her, yeah? And I explained to her what's happening. She said, well, he's, he, you know, he's got on a coat. Now, I'm on a coat myself, and I? So you know, she's saying he's got on a coat and it's really ch turned, he's changed him up by, he's just gone mad, you know? She said, I like a little dabble here and there, but he's gone crazy. He, if, he, if he can't get it, He's like, a, he's, he's like a man possessed, he's gone, he just goes mad, you know, and he's like got to the stage now that he's giving me little backhanders. I said, look, I said, I don't like to get involved in it, especially when drugs are concerned. I said, look, I'm going to tell you, right, and your dad knows that I'm on crack coke myself, yeah, and, I, I, you know, and I'm not with my girlfriend no more, but that could be, that could be the cause of it, yeah, uh, Coke, and I said, do a sort of favour, try and get off this shit, you know what I mean, because it does ruin, it does ruin lives, and it's me talking to her, and I'm still on it, but I'm trying to educate her, but I can't even educate myself, yeah, but I think that's me, after trouble between me and, me and Danny, it's because I'm on, on Coke, you know, and Danny likes a little dabble here and there, but, I'm, you know, on it, I go a bit crazy, at the end of it all, when I can't get it, I, I get a bit mad. But being that I had lots of money, I was always getting it, so I was getting worse. But it wasn't about me, it was about her and him. So I said, look, the best thing to do is try and get off that crap, yeah? She said, no, I'm not taking it no more. I said, listen, get off it. I know you're taking little bits and pieces here and there. Right, get off it, yeah? I can see, don't forget, I take it, yeah? I can see now that your high as a kite, you know what I mean? Try and get off it, that could be the problem. You're shouting at him, he's shouting at you, but I don't agree with what he's doing. I don't agree that he's bashing you up. I said, well, more than I dare do, I said, when I was with my Danny, I said, if I touched her, mate, it'd be murdered, you know what I mean? She'd bash me up, you know what I mean? And under that, I'd get killed by the old man, even though he's tried it a few times. But any, and we just left it like that. And so I said, look, got hold of her, tell her to get off it. She isn't going to get off it. She's going to dabble it here and there, but, you know, it's a problem, mate. And the old man, it's a problem. So he went, can we have a talk, go and have a talk to him? I said, yeah. And we went around to see him. He's a builder, he's a bricklayer. And so go and see him, he's on, he, he's on site, yeah? So the old man went in there, I pulled him out, I got him downstairs to have a little chat. So he said, all right, where are you? I said, right, mate. I said, listen, it's my mate's daughter, mate. Do you know what I mean? I said, it's my mate's daughter. Don't do it, yeah? Don't do it. Don't be bashing your, 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 his, his daughter up. It ain't on, mate. It ain't on, yeah? And I ain't gonna stand for that shit. He, Don't do it, yeah? He went, well, she, she's driving me mad, mate. I said, yeah, but you ain't got no reason to bash her up, have you? I said, the only thing, the best thing you can do, mate, is get your gear up and get out of the flat, because it's not your flat, it's her flat. So get out of the flat, and just leave her for a bit of time, to so cool down. He went, okay, yeah, I think I'll do that way, you know what I mean? He said, he said, I'm on a cloak a bit heavy. I said, no, I know that. He said, you're on it as well. I said, yeah, I know that too. I said, but, you know, I don't bash my woman up, and I don't bash her up, she'd kill me. Not that the old man would have killed me, would have killed me, yeah? So I said, listen, stop it. I mean, okay, I'll try and stop it, yeah. Listen, that coke is the worst thing in the world. It, it can ruin lives, you know what I mean? It ruins like it makes people more violent than, than ever. So 
So there he is, he's gone to the place. He's a worker that gives a go after. He, he trains, he, he, sorry, he trains. He works every day. He works every day, five days a week. He get good money, brick layer. He, he lays about 15 bricks a, a day. He's good, yeah? He's good, he's good what he does, he gets good money. So he's left her, but he's given her money to survive and he's given her money for her drugs. All of a sudden, my mate phoned me up. He went, oh, right, right, right. I said, what's up now, mate? What's up? He said, oh, he's really put her in hospital this time. I said, look, he's what? He's done what? He said, he's put her in hospital, mate. He's gone over the top with her, mate. I went, oh, what? No, mate, you can't be doing that, you know what I mean? And if I goes to, goes to the house and she lives in a flat, she lives on the first floor of his block of flats, but they're only two story high. And they're absolutely stunning, yeah? Really stunning, pure, all, absolutely stunning place. And what he's done is give her a few clumps and she's got to the balcony and she's hung over the balcony. She said, I'll jump. You can hear me, I'll jump. You know, like crying, I'll jump. And he's gone, yeah, yeah, whatever. He's gone over there. Uh, to give her another clump while she's hanging and she's just jumped mate but as she's jumped right down the stairs and she's hit these big big concrete uh, concrete bol slabs or bullet I don't know what they were yeah big concrete things and what you start it snapped to her leg and so the bone bone has come out the side of her leg Right, bones come out the side of the leg, and, and not only that, she's she's done all her back, smashed all her back. But it's only the first floor, but it's still a long way. You know what I mean? She's done all her back, broke her arms. She's in a right bad way. Goes to the hospital, to see her West Mid. Goes to West Mid to go and see her, and I went, "Fucking stay here! What an hospital that is! It's not a really good hospital in the first place." I said, "I couldn't believe it, mate. I felt like crying, poor kid. There, you know what I mean?" And she's got a big operation on her leg. She's sedated, but she's like a mumble jumble, you know. But she's but her leg is like in a bad, bad way. So he's he's talking to the doctor, and the doctor's saying that we're going to try and save the leg. We're going to try and save the leg, but it's been snapped in such a way that, that the butt anyway. Eventually. Uh, she they saved her leg, but this is after weeks and weeks and weeks of it, mate. They, they saved the leg, but before all that, it's got to be sorted. It's got to be sorted. He can't be doing that, mate. It's, it's my mate's daughter. Um, he told him he can't do. He can't be eating her. It's that never, and it's got to be sorted. And uh, so I go to the site where he's working, and he sees me, and he's gone. He's just gone. He's gone around the other side and down the scaffolding and gone. And he knows now, he knows now that he's in, he's in trouble. He knows now that he's in serious trouble no, no matter what. But the geezer's on coke and he's gone off his nut. We tried to find him, looking around where he's, he's, he's up the flat. He's not around. But what he does is even worse, right? He goes to my mate. My mate can't fight, but he's a nice guy. He can't fight, but he knows the little people, yeah? He'd go round my mate's gaff, the daughter's dad. He goes round there and he hits him with an hammer across the head. And he half kills him, mate, in a way. The guy's in intensive care. You know, he's in a sedated, he's on a, he's on a life support machine where he's hit him in, in the head and crashed out his skull. And he's on a life support, so he's got his daughter who look, look, looks like she's going to lose her leg, but she doesn't. She's in, in med, uh, West Mid. She's in a bad, bad way. You've got the old man. I think it's a, St. Mary's, St. Mary's Hospital, something like that. I don't know where it is. St. Mary's or, or, or anyway, one of them hospitals, right? A really, really is in a really bad way. He looks like he ain't going to pull through, you know, but he does, you know, but he, he looks like he don't at that time. So... I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happened. I don't know about him. The, 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 the bricklayer is done with an ammo, and, and you know, and he's in a bad way. And I, what do you do? You know what I mean? So now, this is like what? Two months later. Two months later. 
the daughter's back home. They saved her leg. She's all pinned up. She's got all pins everywhere and this, that and the other. And she's on crutches, but she's been saved. Her leg's been saved. Her arms, one of her, one of her arms is, is all mucked up, and it, but she's okay. She's not gone back with him. Um, then she's telling me that she's going to be to see Dad. And uh, she's telling me that um, Dad wants to see me. So I'll go and see him. I said, what's up, mate? He went, oh, hey, hey. He said, he come out of my house, mate. He said, as I went to, as I opened the door, he hit me on the head, on the head with something. I don't know what it was. I can't remember anything. And the next thing you know, I'm in the hospital. And uh, months later, I, 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 you know, and he's crying his eyes open. He's in a right bad way, yeah? I went, mate. And I mean, now this geezer, this bricklaying geezer, mate, he's gone too far. Uh, he knows he's gone too far. Uh, we try to find him, cut him my pals. We try to find him, we can't find this geezer anywhere. Anywhere. He's not been in touch with his, his girlfriend. The old man, the old man, he looks like he's, you know, a cabbage in a way. I mean, he's, he's like all slow walking, he's slurring. He's in a really bad way, mate, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, poor, he's going to die. Even though he's a, a, alive, he looks like he don't, ain't going to make it, mate. He's, I know he's walking about and this and that, and he's slurring, and he can't get things together. You go in the house, and the house looks like a tip, you know, uh, you know and, and, and a daughter, she's leaving her place, she's going to come live, come and stay with her dad, look after dad. And then she's been bashed up by him really bad. He's been best put by him really bad, you know. Anyway, this book, uh, mate, he's, well, he's got to be seriously, seriously, seriously obliged for what he, he can't get away with that. He just can't get away with that. I mean, isn't it? And do you know what? The worst part of it is the geese is a, is a really, really, I know he's done this, he's done that, but the geezer's a proper nice guy. You know what I mean? We've got the guy's a gentleman, he's got him, he buys drinks, he does this, buys a foot, but he's he's gone he's gone a schizophrenic psychopath on the coke. Fucking hell mate, I can't believe it. This made me want to pack it in, but that made me more <laughs> got worse, really. I wanted to kill him, you know what I mean? And I was look we're looking for him everywhere. We're looking for this geezer. Everywhere, honestly. I got a phone call from the daughter, right? And she said, Wait, he's round my, he, he keeps going around my house, my dad's house, you know, and he's shouting at my dad. And now he's got to a stage that he's started throw, throwing bricks at the window. I'm going to myself, Fuck, this is, this is gone over the top here. Yeah? You know what I mean? What'd you do? You know what I mean? I said to her, Look, what do you want to do about it, darling? Do you know what I mean? She said, oh, she said, I ain't calling the police. She's just staunch as they come. She said, I ain't calling the police, mate. No way. And my dad's taught me that. No, I'm not calling the police. I said, I said we've got to try and sort this geezer. This geezer's too much. Well, my mates, I can't say their names, my mates are complete out and out nut nuts. The one the crack. <laughs> Fucking mad. Gone. Absolutely gone. They want him bad. They're driving around looking for this geezer in every pub it can be, every club, everywhere they're looking for this geezer big time. They want him big time. Honestly, they do want him big time. I want him big time too. Eventually, I'll get a phone call to say, Ray, we got him. I said, what do you mean? He said, we got him now. We got him. I said, where you got him? He said, we got him in the flat. Come and come and look. Mate, I went to his flat. I was sick. Made me feel sick. They, they don't bear thinking about what they did. They done some things to him that you wouldn't even think of doing. Do you know what I mean? We might think about it, you might see it on all this cartel, mafia thing, what they do to people, but they've done the same thing to him. Do you know what I mean? They, he would never again, this guy, he would never, ever, ever, do you know what? I went, mean, see you later. 
I think when I do it, mate, I mean, I was on coke myself and I was on crack by that time, and I'm gone. And it made me feel bloody ill. Do you know what I mean? But they did what they did. Um, this geezer never, never again would he be allowed, well, whatever. This geezer's, well, he's just a cabbage now. He's just a cabbage. You see him, he's a cabbage. He's in a wheelchair. He don't know if it's Saturday or Sunday. He ain't got a clue where he is, mate. He's this a, a mess. He's a complete mess. The old man give his to a right for you, Bob. Give him a lot, a lot of money, mate. Um, the only thing that I'm happy about, in a way, is that I didn't get into it. It wasn't me that got into it. It's my pals, you know. And they done well. They done such a bad job on this guy. You know what I mean? And I don't really like now in my life, yeah. Now in my life, I don't condone condone violence. You know what I mean? Because I've gone past that stage of my life. But when I think about what they did to this geezer, mind you, but what he did to his to to his girlfriend, and what he did to the old man, he deserved what he got. But when you see these mafia things and them sort of things. You think, wow, these, these, these guys, absolute schizo, mate. You know what I mean? It's just madness what they did. I see a film not so long ago, uh, similar to this, where these people kept going out bashing his kids up, and he's and and and, and they tried they cut the geezer's throat, the, the dad they cut the old man's throat. And the old man got himself together and he survived it. And uh, they looked for these guys and they eventually found them. And uh, when the old man got all these guys by himself, one at a time, he cut the generals off, he cut them off. He put them in jars, you know what I mean? And left the people no, for, for death, but put them in jars, his, his generals and all this, that and ever. That's similar. That's similar, you know, to what these guys did to this geezer. Made, made me feel bloody, bloody ill. But the only thing, I, I said, as I said before, I don't condone violence here, yeah? but these stories are, 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 are my part of my life, you know, and that story is the first, this story really is the first, really one of the first stories that I've never been involved. I didn't get involved in doing damage like that, maybe I would have done if I'd have got all this guy first of all, yeah. But they, well, the old man really give them a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money. You know what I mean? But a shame, man. It's a shame that the guy, you know, is well, the guy's in the wheelchair. He don't know what day it is. He don't know who he is or what he is. You know what I mean? You see him, he's just gone, mate. But that's life, isn't it? That's what happens, mate. Anyways, it's bang bang way all. Uh, please press the like button and subscribe, and uh, good morning, yeah? Nice one.